Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Key to Disney. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel, mainly Disney content with a sprinkle of Bath and Body Works. But in today's video, we have a super fun pin tag. We have the Villain Tines pin tag. This pin tag was created by the queen of villains herself, my good friend Beth over at Villains and Vice. She took her hand at creating a pin tag and let me tell you these pin prompts are literally perfect. Each prompt is like villains based and they're so fun. I had such a fun time going through my pins to pick out pins for this pin tag. So awesome job Beth on creating your first pin tag. This is awesome. There are some channels who are posting all on the same day including myself. So I'll link everyone down in the description below and I will be tagging a couple channels to participate at the end. Also if you're interested I will leave those prompts down in the description below so you can participate yourself. There are 13 villains themed pin prompts. I don't think you had to pick villains pins. I'm gonna spoil it. I didn't pick a single villain pin. And the first pin prompt is based on the evil queen. It's magic mirror on the wall. Choose a pin that best reflects your personality. I kind of had a hard time finding a pin that I wanted to choose for this, but the one that I decided to go for is this perfume bottle of Tiana. As you guys know, I love me some fragrance and honestly like Bath and Body Works and perfume and like smelling good is like one of my personality traits, I swear. I don't know if that's weird to say, but like my whole life is filled by, by fragrance and things that make me smell good. So I thought for this one of a show pin that best reflects your personality, I thought this perfume one was a fun for that prompt. So that was prompt number one. Prompt number two is based on Gaston. It says, Belle is the most beautiful girl in town. That makes her the best. Choose one of your most beautiful pins. Now this one was super easy for me to do, like super easy. And you guys will know why. Look at how gorgeous this Tiana pin is. We've had Tiana and I don't, it's like a frame kind of pin. This part is translucent and it's got the flowers on the bottom and like a little detailing on top. And then there is Naveen. Um, this pin is created by an unknown pin seller. I think I got this on a live sale, I think, or like an Instagram sale. It's absolutely stunning and it is like translucent and I love that. And that's why it's my favorite pin. Not sure the pin creator because there's no name on the back and I bought it like secondhand. But this is hands down one of my most gorgeous pins. Moving on to prompt number three. Claude Frollo, have you ever attended a peasant festival, Captain? Show a party pin. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who that is. So if I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. But the only pin I found, it's like a party pin, is this pin. I haven't showed this in a while. This is from the grand opening of the Shanghai Disney Resort. And I thought this was a party pin because they all look like they're celebrating. It's Mickey and friends and they're celebrating the grand opening of Shanghai Disney. So I think this one is super, super cool. This is what it looks like off the back or off the pin board. Super, super, super gorgeous pin. I don't know why I bought this. It was from my local um, antique mall. I think I thought it was just really cool to have a Shanghai pin. I don't really collect Mickey and friends, but yeah, this is cute and I love it. Okay, that was prompt number three. Prompt number four, Hades. Whoa, is my hair out? Show a pin of someone with lovely locks. This was the easiest prompt of this tag for me. It instantly jumped to my mind. We have Merida herself. I love her hair. Her curly hair is super, super pretty. And she just has really beautiful hair. And I think her hair in this pin looks super, super stunning. So we have that pin. Moving on to prompt number five. This one is inspired by Maleficent. And it says, my pet, you are my last hope. Show an animal pin and an animal pin I have for you. This is my favorite animal. And this is Bailey, the beluga whale from Finding Dory. I don't know why I have this weird obsession with beluga whales. I love beluga whales. I think they're absolutely adorable. Is this pin fake? Probably, but it's Bailey and there's not a lot of Bailey merch out there and I just love Bailey so, so much. So that is my animal pin. Moving on to prompt number six and this one's inspired by Scar. 
I'm surrounded by idiots. Show a pin of someone who may not be the sharpest tool in the shed. I had a hard time doing this. And honestly, this might be a reach. Um, but the one I picked is this pin of Billy Butcherson as a zombie because zombies don't have brains. So they're not very smart. And that's why I picked this Billy Butcherson pin. I think this is from like the newest Hocus Pocus blind box set. I don't, I couldn't really think of a character that's like not very smart. Um, but I thought this one was, that fit the prompt well enough because zombies don't have brains. Therefore, they're not very smart. So there's that prompt number six. Moving on to prompt number seven. This one was inspired by Ursula. You can't get something for nothing, you know. Show your most expensive pin. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little cheapy. I'm a cheapy girl when it comes to buying pins. I like cheap pins. I don't know why. I don't think I really spent over $30 on a specific pin. So I'm just going with a pin that I think the value is expensive because I actually won this in a giveaway. But this is this gorgeous tiana pin dreaming of tiana's place i don't know I, th I think this is super super cute um this is le50 it's a fantasy pin from tired mother designs and i know fantasy pins are a little on the pricier end and i think this one retailed for about 70 dollars. i think but i did win this one in the giveaway which is super super cool and she's like holding a little cookbook i don't know like a cooking magazine cookbook i don't know this pin is just absolutely gorgeous and it's probably my most expensive valued pin i'm not really sure because i don't like paying a lot for pins so i just decided to pick out that one Moving on to number eight, this one is inspired by Yzma, and this one says, pull the lever, crunk, show a pin with a moving element. I don't know if this really counts as a moving element. I think it does, but it's a pin that like slides open, if I can get it, there we go. It slides open and it's a sunflower pin, and sunflowers are my favorite flower, and this is a Pocahontas, and I just thought I'd use this as like a moving pin because it, it does move like that, oh my gosh. It moves like that. I don't have many sliding pins um, that actually have a physical moving element on them, but I thought this pin works, hopefully. So yeah, there is this Pocahontas pin, and this one's limited edition of 4,000, if you're curious. Moving on to prompt number nine. This one is inspired by Mother Gothel. The world is dark, selfish, and cruel. If it finds even the slightest ray of sunshine, it destroys it. Show a pin with dark colors. I think this pin counts. This is a Black Panther pin. And it's from like a black light collection. So I thought these were dark colors because the pin's mainly black and it has like just pops of color. But since they're black lights, I thought it would work for dark colors. This one I had a little bit of a hard time finding, but this one was in my boyfriend's collection. So I thought that one worked. Moving on to prompt number 10. This one is inspired by Dr. Facilier and it says, I've got friends on the other side. Show of pin that depicts friendship. And the pin I picked for this is this pin of Timon, Pumbaa, and Simba. My boyfriend has decided he kind of likes to collect um, Lion King. So this was perfect that I had this for this prompt. And I think Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa are a good little group of friends. Moving on to prompt number 11. This one is inspired by Jafar. And it says, you've heard of the golden rules, haven't you? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. Show a pin with the color gold or like a money slash coin pin. And I picked a gold pin. That's kind of like a pin I already showed today, but this is a different princess. This is the color gold and it opens up like that and you have a very shiny Tiana inside. I really anticipated on collecting this whole princess florals line because I thought they were stunning, but honestly, I don't really like how it's just that. Like when you have it on your pin board and I don't like displaying it open like this, because I'm afraid it's gonna break, like the sliding element is gonna break. So I ended up not really collecting the set. I think I only have like two pins from the set. It is really gorgeous. I just wish it was just like the inside, but yeah. So here is that one. Moving on to prompt number 12. It's inspired by Tamatoa and it says, I can't, I'm too shiny. Show a pin with sparkles, glitter, or metallics. I have a lot of sparkly pins, but I decided to show a pin from a collection that I haven't showed off in a while. It is this very sparkly, super sparkly couples hinge pin, and it is Aladdin and Jasmine. I really wish these pins had two pin posts. It drives me nuts since it only has one. When you have it open, it's too heavy and it slides down and it drives me nuts. So let me just take it off the pin board so I can show you guys. That's what it looks like, super sparkly. And then on the inside, we have Aladdin and Jasmine. And it's got sparkles on the inside and sparkle on the outside. And I would say this pin is too shiny. Super good. 
Moving on to last but not least, number 13. This is inspired by Lady Tremaine and it's I Said If. And then it says, show a pin that was a grail pin for you. I don't have grail pins in my collection, if I'm being honest. There is not really pins that like, I'm like, oh my God, this is such a grail for me. Let me go and buy it because I'm so cheap. But I will throw up a picture on the screen of a grail pin I would like to own, but I don't own it yet and probably will never own it. But it is Ursula as a hockey goalie. I think that pin is super awesome. It's super, super cool. I do have a hockey pin collection and I'd love to have it in my pin collection one day, but I just don't see myself ever owning it. So a girl can dream. That's all I have to say for that one. But yeah, that was the Valentine's pin tag. Beth, you outdid yourself. These prompts were super, super fun. Thank you, Beth, for inviting me to do this super fun pin tag. Check out all the channels participating down in the description below. And I'm going to tag a couple couple friends of mine to participate in this tag. I am going to be tagging Francis from Dream Fighting with Francis. I am going to be tagging Michelle and Princess Adrian over at Raising a Disney Princess as well as, let's see here, Serena from Serena's Sparkly Diary. Those are the channels that I am going to be tagging. If you can't participate in the tag, no problem at all. The prompts are down below if you are interested in participating. But that is all for today's super fun video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below what your favorite pin of mine was. And if you like seeing my face, it is your Beth Moderick's content, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button because it's free to you, helps out so, so much. And you guys can always change your mind later. Thanks again, you guys, for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.